I, I came here at the age of nine. I didn't even know how to speak English. So the the crazy thing is, my sister and I used to like gibberish, like in English, acting like we know we speak in English, right? But we ain't know what an is, ounce of English. What does gibberish English sound like, bro? Like, shurash, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> We was kind of like. Yo, yo, yo! What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chill, and it's your boy Will, and this is the Pull Up Podcast with Chill Will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. For the first time in f- never, in never, <laughs> I'm introducing the artist Come because on I'm the one that brought him here. Yes, sir. Yeah, at least so. We have yeah. a very, 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 Hey. That intro was fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. If we don't do nothing else, we gonna oh, intro man. like a uh, intro. Yeah, crazy. man. We got the homie. We got the homie Lucid. What up? In, in the building tonight. What's I'm going sure. on? I just pulled up. Yes, sir, yeah, man. man. Hey, man. We appreciate you for pulling up too. Man, yeah, I man. appreciate it. This is an honor. Came through in the clutch. Man. Yes, sir. Came through in the clutch. That's what I do, man. We are excited to, hear, to be here, man, because we really don't like. We were talking about this off camera, man. Like, yeah. I really don't know you at all. <laughs> <laughs> like most of the people that come on here, I gotta kind of like a little I bit. know a little bit. Yeah. Of, like I just literally know your name, nigga, and, and see your face the other day, and that's, that's it. And that's it. Yeah, that's so good. it's gonna be great, man. That's I can't perfect. wait. That's good. I can't wait because we're gonna find out all kinds of stuff we need to find yes, out. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, so let's yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's start if you don't mind, T. Yeah. Uh, let's start with how we all how we all got here, man. Let's man. let's start there. That's a for good sure. place for sure. Um, T, I'll let you take that. I mean, I will. We've been going to the same gym for what, maybe a year or a two, year, something definitely. like that. Yeah. And I've seen this man walking around the gym, swole up, yeah. <laughs> doing his nah. thing. And uh, I don't know. One day we just end up talking to each other, and yeah, come to find out. He's an artist. He sings. Yes, sir. And his music is fire. Fire. Thank you. Thank so you. y'all fire. need to go. He's gonna give his, you know, his handles and all that stuff at the end of the episode. Y'all need to go follow him. You're gonna, you're gonna love what you hear. Is if you love Afrobeat, if you like that vibe, this is an artist that you want to know. Period. Definitely. Real talk. Period. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. And we gonna get into the music for sure because I was listening to some of your stuff uh, before you came in here. Just Appreciate a little bit, it. just a couple of them, man. I was yeah. like, man, okay. Just to see if it's it just to see if you was valid. To be honest yeah, with you, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, let yeah. me see if he valid. Yeah. And I'm I was trying. like, oh, okay, he fire. Like, he, yeah, yeah. He nice with it, and he's consistent. <laughs> yeah, okay. Come like on, every every you know you know me. Yeah. Facts. You know you know my ears are facts. My ears are, they will get on my nerves. <laughs> right, right, it ain't right. right. They be burning. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you right. know, so he let me hear some of his music in the gym the first time. I was like, oh, this is dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I went to his it. Instagram and heard appreciate some stuff, it. and it was dope. And his content on Instagram is dope. Like, Amen. it's clean. So that's Amen. Dope. You know what I'm saying? Content so, is key, man. Content yeah, is you know, key. It's key right now. Content is and key. And just perfecting the craft. You yeah, know? man. And you've so, been pushing. Pushing. You've been pushing, pushing it, man. Bro. Man, yeah. let's, that's, that's dope. Let, tell us, because again, we talked about this off camera. Yeah. Um, I, we got, I found out we got one little thing in common. We mm. was born, you was born up top, right? You was born in no, New York? No, no, actually, no. I was born in Ghana. Okay, you was born was in bo- Ghana. I was born in Ghana, and then I came here at the age of nine. Shout out to Ghana. Ghana, man. You know how it is. Man. The word. motherland. The motherland. Yeah, but I, I came here at the age of nine. I didn't even know how to speak English. So the the crazy thing is, my sister and I used to like gibberish, like in English, acting like we know we speak in English, right? But we ain't know what an is, ounce of English. What does gibberish English sound like, bro? Like, shurash, <laughs> like, <laughs> We was kind of like acting like we were from British type of, oh, okay, type okay, of shit, okay. acting like we speak in English, right. but we did not say a word. That's crazy. You know, so, wow. But from there, that's when we went to school. We was in English as second language. At that time, people used to laugh at us like, right. oh, you you from a, a foreign country. Mm-hmm. You don't know how to speak English. But right. it was a good thing. I right. know another language, and I'm learning another language. Right. So exactly. it was fun learning English. It wasn't easy, but we got to it. It was, it was, Man, it was, that's a blessing. Yes, Cause sir. you came over here and you got some from it. The rest of us are out here still looking stupid. <laughs> got one. Feel me? Drop us in another country. <laughs> and we lost. screwed. We lost. Man, <laughs> lost. Can't say where the bathroom at. Can't none of that. <laughs> hey, hell, yeah, I just right. found out that that your that your uh, native language oh, is yeah. tree. 
Yeah, it's it's Twi. It's uh, T T W I. T W I with the oh, accent. Twee. Yeah, a lot of people twee. would say Tree, but yeah. it's Tree like T W I. Oh, yeah, with the twee. accent. So. Twee. Yeah. Man, you gotta hit us with some Twee, bro. I don't. Charlie, what's up? At the same. The, whoa, wow. Yeah. Okay, say we'll that one more time. Whoa, whoa, to same. Whoa, 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 to same. To same. Yeah, that's like how you doing. Hey. Charlie, whoa, whoa, to same. Yeah, Charlie. Oh, you got that. That's whoa, perfect. Whoa, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Charlie, no, oh, Queen. Oh, bad damn that. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, what you doing tonight? What's the vibe tonight? Yeah. What they go on type of thing. That's the pigeon that we that's were talking the one about. They, earlier. See that? Now that, you know what I'm that I can follow yeah, a little yeah, bit. A little so bit. We got, like, the native tongue is uh, obviously is tree. And then we have. Um, English is the first language and we have other dialects as uh, well. And then we have the pidgin that's like universal that we speak with every other people around right. But we move and then there's a certain area in uh, in Ghana where it's like they speak like um uh patois. If yeah, you, yeah. If you if you, that area if you go you would think these guys are straight from Jamaica, but they oh. speak like patois like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. So so Damn. yeah, man, there's so many languages in Africa It's crazy. That's crazy. Patois. Some that I don't even know. Yeah. Patois, something that you all know. No, nah, no, nah. like it's so many languages and dialects Shout as well. Out to yeah. the motherland, yes, bro. sir. I can't. Let me. I'm sorry. I don't mean to get, get on this too hard. <laughs> nah, go ahead. But it's like, man, bro, I cannot wait. I have not been yet, bro. I have wow, not been. No, I have to. Y'all got no, to go. Ever. But, bro, when I tell you, there's really no other. Like, there's really no other place I want to go, bro. Nah. Like, I, I want to go to other places, but there's not, there's not, there's no place that I have to touch, man, before I leave here, and that's Africa. You have to any place. I don't care. You, you have to drop you, me. It Just create, drop me somewhere. It created everything, <laughs> and they gonna accept you too. You know what I'm saying? Man. So like, you get dropped. It's not like you getting dropped. It's mm-hmm. like you get right. dropped to your family. Like Ooh. they gonna love you. Like as soon as you touch down, everybody embracing you. Man, you know what I'm saying? And that's love. Africa in general. You know, whether Ghana, Nigeria, you know, but. That's love. It's, it's love. So like, why they? You so why they? Why they try to? Here we go. Why mm-hmm. they try to pretend like? Why they try to give us over here? Why yeah. they try to give us this ideology that everybody over there like you. Yeah, you go to Nigeria, you gonna get. Um, you go to Africa, you gonna get robbed. No, it's a it's a business. You know what I'm saying? Like they use it to raise funds and stuff. But I'm not saying Africa don't need help. But like right, right, I right. feel like we're suitable enough to do what we need to do mm-hmm. to right, make sure right. we're good. But yeah, it's a more of a business transaction than anything. But like you got some places that look. Luxurious, more it looks better than certain rich areas in the in the U.S. Right, and you Africa, we will say most people in Africa drive like foreign cars. They and BMWs, mm-hmm. Bentleys. You'll see the Rolls Royce on the street. You got a lot of billionaires in Africa. Oh, of course. But they make it seem like you know we're struggling and whatnot. But it's all a tactic. We don't. Know this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, of course. Yeah, so I want to go get the truth. Man, that's where you gotta go, man. That's where it's at. And no, let me wanna, know. And if you want to be wealthy, man, that's the place to go. That's the place to go. It's the place to go. You still go back? Yeah, I just came. I went. I went to Africa uh, twice this year. Bro, let yeah. me know next time you going, yeah, bro. I'm coming. Bro. And, 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 and <laughs> I'm specifically, coming. specifically in Ghana, December is like the popping year, like the popping month because right. it's like party all day long during December uh, like I heard so about that's the that. time where everybody go you know what I'm saying so going December. but the tickets is crazy I bet yeah. I bet yeah. man how much is it for a flight to, to Ghana these days you know I mean I, for one person three grand it depends on what it is. yeah yeah three grand minimum like and okay. if you catch the ticket in December late you looking at four yeah and easy. then you gotta do Airbnb and three then, grand yeah. but it's but, but but it's poverty man it don't cost three that's grand crazy, to go to right? poverty now yeah. that's yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. that's Come the on. thing that's about a, that that's, that's a good that's a point that's a, that's a great a point good. man like I never that's a good point. I never thought about that that's man. crazy three grand to go to poverty Come on, that don't man. make that no sense that don't even make sense yeah that that's it's cheaper to go to like Korea Korea or something like that yeah yeah yeah. That's wow, yeah, yeah, man. That's crazy. Wow. That is that's that a, a whole point. Damn, T, you nah. hit me with a gem. <laughs> hey, I'm about to, oh, oh, I'm about to go home and think about this. Oh, oh. <laughs> he said three grand, but you going, going to poverty. poverty. Yeah, third, hmm. uh, what they, what they don't call sound it? Right. Yeah. Uh, third world country. Yeah, type exactly. Of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't know about that, man. Come on, man. Yeah. So what about? So you can't. All right. So man, I, I know we went on a whole tangent about Africa, but shout out to the motherland. Yes, sir. So you went. So you were born in Ghana. Mm-hmm. You came over here when you were nine. What made you guys come over to? Uh, my the dad States? brought us here for like better opportunities and um, just for educational purposes. 
Okay. So we came here. I came here with my brother, my sister, and uh, my mom. Okay. Us four came down, and we just and y'all, took off. And y'all pulled up in New York. New York City. New York yeah. City. What part of New York? Bronx. New, in the Bronx. Yes, That's sir. right. You did yeah, say yeah, the Bronx. Yeah, yeah. Bronx, stand up. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then you raised in the Bronx. I was raised in the Bronx and then went to college in, in Ohio, Akron. Okay. Akron, Ohio. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Man, that's nice. lit. What yeah. school did you, what high school did you go to in the Bronx? I, I went to health professionals. So I didn't go to school in the Bronx. I went to school in Manhattan. Oh. So I went to high school at health professionals ah. and then uh, went from there to Akron, Ohio. Shout out to Akron. Yeah, Shout sir. Out to LeBron Bronx. James. LeBron yeah. James hometown. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's lit. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then so where along this journey did you fall into music? Man, um, I don't even know. It just happened. So you know, I, I used to manage musicians. Like did artists. not know that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know you at all. And, that, and this is where the, this is where the <laughs> it's just get crazy. This is where we go. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I used to manage artists. So okay. I transitioned from managing artists, and I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna just start doing it myself. You already you know, know what to do. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. So I did the back end work, and then I'm like, you know what? Let me try and see how it goes because other people have their own plan as far as managing artists and managing other people. They have their own things that they want to do. Mm-hmm. And you, as a manager, you will pour your your all into an artist, but they have things that they want to do. It's not personal. Right. It's still business at the end of the right. day. Whatever they got to do to benefit themselves and make them better, do what you got to do. But as a manager, when you pour your all into it and you don't have like a a, a standing or a back end, you, you just have to figure it out yourself. Yeah, and so yeah. from it all, pick up a new artist. So it was like, it was just, over, it was draining. I was like, you know what? Let me just focus on myself and then do other things and but I was I, I managed my cousin still but mm-hmm. he's in the um in the fitness field oh. so I went from music to fitness where I was like you know what let me just bring it in home oh. and just manage like people that I know or family members and that's mm-hmm. when I picked up managing my cousin and when we took we took it from there doing fitness and then he blew up training ludicrous and training celebrities and whatnot wow. so from there that's, that's how we started working and then I moved to Atlanta and I, about a year and a half ago I was like let me try this music thing and then see how things go and then um, shout out to Banger, my my producer and engineer. So he took my sound. He helped me find the sound. We did it within a month. We uh, one day I recorded the first song called uh, Angelina, which yeah. I just put out. Um, and then from there I was like, man, this is good. Yeah. And, but I said it to myself, and mm. I was like, you know what? Let, <laughs> let me not get over myself. Yeah, so yeah. I sent it to yeah. a few people who were very critical when I send yeah. them stuff, and I like that. I like people right. to critique yeah. my work. You should, yeah. As you, as you may know, yeah. Uh, just. Hey, I'm not. I don't want you to tell me I'm good and right. I'm horrible. Right. Right. So I sent it to a few people. They was like, "Yo, this is really good." I was like, "All right, cool." Yeah, man. And then I went back to the lab and I started recording. Mm-hmm. And then, damn, the second one was good. I yeah. sent it out. Yeah. They said, "Yo, this is good. Yeah. It was fire." <laughs> the third one was good. I was like, "Man, should I put this out?" I was actually scared to put music out. And I was like, "Should I put this out?" Yeah, yeah, try it. You never know. Yeah. And then, you know, age kick in and you think I'm old. And yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. you know what? A lot of people did their thing. Yeah, the older age. So let me just put it out and see. We we really we sorry. I I I used to be on that shit too, yeah. right? Man, we really the cool. We really the cool niggas. Facts. That's what I'm we, saying. Bro, it's we, crazy. We at the best right. little spot right because the we the OGs. Man, we oh we the OGs, and the and the OG our OGs out the game. They, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so saying? Like, so it's like we the ones that really know right how to there. move in this exactly, thing. Exactly, exactly. And the ones coming up behind us, they looking at us like, how you moving this thing? We That's like, true. oh shit, you don't know. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying. So yeah, we really had a good age, man. Yeah. Don't let that bother nah. you. I know it, it used to do that, do me like that too. But nah, we good. We in the right space. It's space. about and it's, it's about fact. it's about keeping that youthful swag too. Like just yeah. like, just because you get older and age, don't mean you got to lose your your youthfulness, your, your right? Yeah. Your swag, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. I feel like music keep you young though. A hundred percent. Music keep you young, man. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. can't do this being an old nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like even the old niggas don't look they, like they're not old niggas. Like yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I see. People you got to like, keep up with the young boys. Yeah, so yeah. You got to make sure you good. I see like Gilly and Wallow on oh, they man. on they stuff, and I'm like, man, these are old niggas, bro. Boy, like they, these are old they, niggas, they, but they don't look old. You know what I'm saying? They don't feel old either. But, but think about it though. Like even even back in the day, man, artists look at the old the OJs. Oh, I, yeah. These cats was they was young. They weren't super young. Like yeah. But artists have gotten younger and younger and yeah. younger over the past, you know, few years, and it's just like now that's the expectation mm. for artists to be all extra young. But like y'all don't know nothing. Like the right. older artists were speaking right. from experience. There's a whole right. lot, but the music was more tangible too. Like they yeah. were actually talking about something, 
And now it ain't a whole lot being talked about. Yeah. It's, it's a bunch of gibberish. Just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just because that seems to be the vibe. That's all people want to do. They just want to have fun. They don't want to think about all this. They mm. just like, oh, just make, just make me some music, bro. I just want to dance. Yeah. You know, you know so. If you want to get spins in that way, yeah. But you know, it's different now. It you know, you got is. stuff that will break yeah. on playlists. That's yep. a, that's a cool thing now. You know, yep. you might you don't even have to touch the radio these days. And that's still true. Can and light you got, up. You got yeah. social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facts. all that yeah. type of thing. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Facts. All that. Yeah. With the TikTok, interesting about thing about TikTok. Before we move on to the next things, yeah. y'all. I don't know if y'all know, but TikTok now they have. Basically, they have you know you can make your TikTok shorts now. Mm -hmm. You can make a uh, like if you drop something, you can, you have to choose like a snippet that you okay. want, like a certain length. But it has to be that certain length because they there was a lawsuit against TikTok that basically was like, yo, these are placements. Like these are placements. You got to pay these artists, artists. Oh. like a placement fee for this because this is more than 30 seconds like mm. you need to pay a placement fee and, and tiktok was like hell nah you're not <laughs> doing that so now they TikTok, never want to pay the creators they never want to pay the creators crazy. it's so crazy because it's like we're, we're the ones blowing up your platform right so why wouldn't you want to pay us they do that all but the time that's Reed. why they do it so now they got it at a certain level a certain wow. length so that you can't, so that they can't claim, you can't claim it as a placement. So is it like after 30 seconds? You, oh. I think it's after 30 seconds, it, it becomes nuts. a placement. That's crazy. Because, you know, people were using it for sound checks for everything. Mm -hmm. People using certain songs for sound checks for their, they got whole two minute snippets of the song. They playing. Oh, the, so now they cut it You know down. what I'm saying? So now they cut it. It's like 15 oh, seconds. You can't even, can't even do yeah. it anymore. Yeah. yeah. But that's a interesting little wow. tidbit. Um. So, I wanted to, to ask. I wanted yeah. to ask you about your writing. So do you write your songs. Do you write everything? I know you got a producer. Yeah, I have a producer. Majority of the time, yes, I write most of my most songs. Of most but like, songs. like I think I told you, like, but when I do get a lot a writer's block, I have a few friends that I go to and be like, hey, what you think about this? Or right. look, I, I need help on this end, on this right. end, and then they'll so, chime in. I guess I should be expecting some publishing for yeah. the song you got coming up then. Yeah. Hundred percent, man. Because I had to, I had to go to him because I was stuck. Yeah. And yeah, I was yeah. like, "What you think I should write about?" And he was telling me maybe you should dive in into this arena Facts. and talk about that. And then yeah, yeah. it took me two weeks to write that song, and then I came back. I was like, "Yo, I got it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and then he yeah, he, he approved. It. As soon as he approved, I was like, "Ah, I'm good to go." But yeah, so. I write, yeah, I write majority of my song, but then I do have people that I go to, like yourself, and then a few of my friends, Singer, I have Banger, mm -hmm. I have Amaka, uh, I have people that I'll tap into and be like, mm -hmm. and I have Laps, and I'll tap into and be like, look, I want you to take a look, because I'm a perfectionist, and right. at the end of the day, it's music, but I'm also a businessman, right. so at the same time, I want to make sure everything is perfect when I put it out, yeah. um, from the lyrics, from the production, to, to the production, to the product. branding, like, it's, yeah. like, it's that product, you know, yeah. you have to package it right, so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a great writer, but if somebody's better than me, shoot, why not? Yeah, um, facts. Yo, touch on this for me and yeah. see, see what you think, let's, let's the take best it the product. Next. I don't want to yeah. give my audience and my fans just yeah. wishy-washy work, I want to make yeah, sure what I'm absolutely. giving them is quality, because they coming to my show, they buying my merch, <laughs> they doing all of that, they gonna put me on that map, so why give them half ass yeah. work? So I was like, I, I'm gonna put my time into this. Whether if I even if I write a full song, I send it to people. Be like, mm -hmm. look, make sure the writing is good, and then they they tap. I in. think a like, lot of people don't focus on writing now, but I do. I think the most important part too is when you're an artist is actually having your input. Like mm -hmm. instead of being an artist who just lets somebody write your entire song, yeah, and you have no input in it, mm -hmm. right? Something has yeah, something yeah. to do with it. Write so that, two paragraphs. So you, something. Can, you can <laughs> right. actually be Ride connected to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside of the vocals, mm -hmm. like you're you're in the song. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you can feel it, you can identify with yeah. it, and it's not just something that you sing because somebody else wrote it. Yeah. So the Afrobeat songs mostly like I write like ninety percent of the song and but the rap part I also oh, do yeah, of course. I also do the rap yeah. and whatnot, nice. but like hooks and whatnot. I'm good at hooks and then the writing and the verses too, I I tap in. Yeah. With that, yeah. Do you like when did you start writing? Do you remember your first song? Man, my first song. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Man, it was so funny. It was in New York. Um it, it's still on YouTube. It's okay. Cool. Oh, see, I was a poet, so I was like, Are you Damn. proud of it? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of yeah. like it, bro. Okay, like, all right. Yeah. I, I, I went back. I was like, man, this sound old, but it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, but like my first song was like, it was talking about how the things that was going on. Right. And then my little brother, he was around like 10 or maybe nine. And then we took this little camera and walked around my, my area and he did the video. 
Nice. And then I took and I edited myself and I put it out. But that was my first track. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not supposed to be an artist. Maybe I should be the manager and then right. or just manage artists. And then from there, that's when I was like, you know, I'm gonna just put this on chill. Nice. But right. then, um, about a year ago, I was like, you know what? Let me start writing again. Really writing. Like, really write. But when I was in college, I used to dabble here and there, making beats and then writing songs. But it wasn't. I wasn't at my full potential. Right. So I feel like I was just preparing myself from managing artists, going into different studios mm -hmm. and listening to the sound and, you know, making sure I have a good musical ear to listen to the sound and make sure I can mm. do this. Uh, but I was managing artists. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be more on the executive side than the artists. Right. You know? But it was, it was, it, it's perfect because then I learned the back end work and right. now I the can do the front part. end. The front end work, so um, and you see, you can see the end because you know what's on the back end. A hundred percent, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. So like, yeah. I, so now I was like, man, this this was perfect. So I started writing about a year and a half ago, man. I put my first song, I believe, in uh, August of last year, and mm. then I was like, man, this is not bad. And then it's been a year now, just like y'all. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yes, trying sir. to follow up. Hey, man, we it's, it's something in the, in the something in the ether, man. Yes, the sir. frequencies yes, they align. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, nah, man, your stuff is your stuff is. Let me just say that your stuff is really dope, man. Thank I, you, man. I appreciate. You know, <clears throat> I when I heard your stuff, it took me back to a day when we were sitting in here listening to some Afro beats. Oh, yeah, we were having yeah. a conversation about it, mm -hmm. and you know, you hear people that do add stuff, mm -hmm. but when I heard your stuff, I was like, it's right there on the level of the same stuff that we was listening to. The authenticity That's of it, dope. your voice, appreciate like it. all of it. I was like. That's why I was like, yeah, man, you need to keep going. Cause, yeah, cause thank you. It was really not a matter of if, it's when. You just yeah. keep doing it, man, because your stuff is killing. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so no, much. No, it sounds good, man. It really Appreciate does sound it. good. Um, do you have any, do, do you have any, like, musical uh, background? Like, is it, was anybody else in music? Or? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I used to, obviously, everybody started in church. I used yeah, to be in a choir. Yeah, I used man. to be in a choir Here we go. in church. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, Here we but go. I, I, wasn't a, I wasn't the main act. <laughs> There yeah, was this yeah, one yeah. girl, she was a, a great singer. Her name was Sylvia. She was an amazing singer. So we used to sing behind her. Yeah. And I remember I had to do like a, a song myself. I was nervous as heck. Yeah. So I was like, man, I'm going to just take on this and see how it goes. And it was, it was not bad, but that was the that would be my musical background. It wasn't like yeah, yeah. music. Now I'm doing the music part. So I'm ta I was taking performance art class. I did it. Okay. I did a performance. Just doing the art, artist mm -hmm. development. Right. And then I'm I'm working on taking like vocal um, vocal lessons because yeah. I'm not a I'm not a singer I learned it you know what I'm saying uh -huh. so so I'm just trying to perfect it as much as I can but there's no musical background but uh, my older brother used to do music um, but it it was also more so for fun yeah and then um, he transitioned into more on an executive side as well did your is did you so you know well I'm about to answer my own question so you didn't really think that you were going to be an artist even though you were into music. Mm -hmm. But did your parents, the music that you were into, did they encourage it or did they, or were they like do something else while you're doing music? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I mean, uh, I don't even think my Basically, parents. Basically, he's like, do you have like the traditional African? No, nah, nah, my, my parents. <laughs> my, must uh, be a technically, they just want you to be. They want you to be successful right. in anything you do. Um, um, I, I don't even think they know I do music. They they just know I manage, and then uh, you know uh, I, I, I'm uh, I work on my own business and I make money from that. Right. And then they so they happy as long as I'm good. Right. And I'm happy That's with what I'm matters. doing. That's all that matters. But I'm not the, the African parent that you got to be a doctor. Right. Right. You got to be a lawyer. <laughs> you're not a lawyer. You get in our band aid, we don't want you in our house. <laughs> nah, they not like that. Like, you know, that's 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 a whole different it. level, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I mean, it wires it wires you to be great at everything yeah. else yeah. that yeah. you do because they, they, they hold you to a higher standard yeah. being a doctor yeah. and a lawyer. And yeah, if you come to the house with a C, you won't come yeah. home, <laughs> you know. So, like, crazy, <laughs> don't come home with a C or he's not dead, <laughs> yeah, <I think. laughs> yeah. So, but it makes you. It makes you like, nah, I gotta go out there and get yeah. it. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, so yeah. In anything yeah. you do, like, and that's what and that's what the parents do for us. Shout you know out to shout out to the parents. parents you know man. what I'm saying? Shout out to the parents, yeah, parents yeah, man. The good but, ones. Yeah, man. The good ones. <laughs> the good ones. The good ones. Yeah. Listen, man, we gonna be right back yes, on the Pull Up Podcast with more Lucy, man. Yes, talking sir. about yeah. uh, more of his life, more of his music, man. Shout out to the Afro Beats. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And the whole go. Afro, the whole Afro, Afro sound, movement. Man. Let's Afro go. Let's sound. do it. It's happening. it's happening, man. We're going to be right back on the Pull Up Podcast. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Yup. Yep. What up, everybody? Are you getting married or do you know somebody that's getting married? 
uh, do you run a business uh, with a whole bunch of people and you want to bring them together at the end of the year for an end of the year party or something like that? You know what I'm saying? And you, and if you are, if you are in any one of those people in any one of those positions and you're looking for an ultimate band experience, then you need to look no further than Will and the exclamation. That's right, Will and the exclamation. We're here to make your special day absolutely un forgettable if you guys are looking to book will and the exclamation here's two ways that you can find us go to www.samhillbands.com click on the hamburger in the top right click on browse bands and you're and look for will and the exclamation the other thing that you can do is you can call 1-866-SAM-HILL that's 1-866-S-A-M-H-I-L-L to get in touch with us and book us for your very, very special event. With an electrifying playlist that caters to all tastes, we'll have everyone dancing the whole night away. The set list, the playlist, it's non-stop. If you wanna dance all night, we offer high octane, live music, dynamic vocalists, stellar musicians, customizable set lists. You can let us know what you want to play and what you don't want us to play. But most importantly, it's non-stop entertainment all night long don't settle for the ordinary choose the extraordinary secure will and the exclamation for your event today and let us bring the party to you are you ready to take your music to the next level introducing our top tier music production services that's right uh -huh. chill with productions whether you're an expiring aspiring artist whether you are a band looking for the perfect sound or whether you're a seasoned pro seeking out that little bit of extra edge i let our, our expert team of chill will get your musical dreams and make them mm -hmm. a reality yes we can do it we offer professional mixing and mastering via yours truly right come here, on. my guy. Come on. Will P. Hey. Will with the exclamation. Hey. We offer vocal tuning and recording, original music production, instrument arrangement, radio ready tracks, live performance, playback, as well as performance development. Woo. We do the whole kit and caboodle. It's a lot. The Ruta to the Tuta. Yes, sir. Everything. Stop shopping. There's only one shop to shop at, one stop to shop at, and we're a one stop <laughs> shop. You hear me? You hear me? Unlock your potential, stand out amongst the music industry, and captivate your audience with world class sound quality. Don't wait any longer. Contact us at Chillwood Production Group at gmail.com or write on our Instagram at the pull up with Chill Will. Yeah, man. Get your sonics right with Chill Will Productions. That's the way to do it. That's it. Yo, it's your boy Will. And make sure you check out my latest single, Nine to Five, on all digital streaming platforms. That's right, it's 9 to 5 by your boy Will, produced by Chill Will Productions, uh, written by uh, uh, Davis Chris, and your boy yours truly as well. Uh, we got some great dope musicians on the record with us. It's a dope bop, it's a great feel, it's a vibey song, so make sure you listen to it today. Stream 9 to 5 right now by Will. So, I know, we, you know we've been talking about music. Mm-hmm. But you don't just do music. Nah, man. You are your own canvas on these photos. Yes, hey. sir. Hey. <laughs> you yes, model. Sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How yes, long sir. have you been doing that? Man, I did don't that. Don't let him objectify um... you like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he in the gym so hard yeah, all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I be in the gym asking questions, man. I need my chest. Yeah, 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 my yeah. Collarbone got to pop T out. T yeah, is bro. one of those. Shout out to T because yeah. T is one of those people that bro. people go to in the gym and be like, man, I, hey, nigga. Hey, last. Well, what, what today, right? Teach me some. I seen you in the gym today. Yeah. Um, I'm like. Like, man, he, I'm like, what you working on today? He said, arms. I'm like, bro, you don't need to do any more right. arms. What's wrong, What's wrong with you? <laughs> Leave them <laughs> arms alone. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, I used to, I used to model. Um, I did Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, oh, lit. I did a few gigs, and um, I was with a, a, an agency for a while. My okay. freshman year in college, uh, I stopped going to uh, college for one semester just to model. Wow. And, um, oh, and it was, it was pretty really dope. Modeling. And then I met a few people in the industry. Um, one of my good friends, Dan Dudestat, and um, that's why I learned most of my photography skills, uh, and then video recording, and then I'll edit myself or sometime I nice. send it to my editors. Uh, but yeah, man, um, just 
trying to do everything in house as much as I can. Yeah, so absolutely. and I do photography too. So and I do videos. I the whole nine. Man. Anything yeah. production wise, I lighting and everything. Normally I do that myself. Wow, as well. yeah. tough. So yeah. the stuff that I've seen on Instagram, a lot of that majority is of it. you. Majority of you, I'm, I'm recording and then like wow, lighting bro. it up and wow. then the pictures i'll take it or i'll have i'll hand, i'll set up the camera and i'll just have some random person take a picture or my cousin take the picture or have a friend of mine take a picture and then i'll take the raw um, photos edit it or send it to my editor so i'm mostly in control of all of, all oh, of that everything um i'm 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 very key on um on branding i right. think it's a very is the most powerful thing in the industry and in, in anything you do yeah. um take your time with branding and i think that 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 can take you to another mm. level yeah so content mm -hmm. too man I, I i strive on content so do you have a plan for your like do you have a plan uh for uh, like a content strategy built up built around like how you release and when man. you release yes i do man it's uh, it's, oh, okay. it's so key um so how i release the content i put out the color wave like every song that i put out there's a certain color so like with Miss You was um, blue and white mm. you know, representing the sky, baby blue and white. And then um, when you go to my song is given is red and um, and then off white, you know, mm. because the song is toxic. So red represent like toxic right, right, right. and then the off white and all of that. But yeah, branding is key. And so every content that I put out, yo, it got to match. It got to do this. This is the result that I want. So I focus on all of that. Aspect mm. very thoughtful and very all. thoughtful, Love very it. intentional, <laughs> very intentional. Yeah. Every yeah. every every post is very intentional. To me. And and it makes sense because you're coming from a manager's perspective. Yeah. Like I said earlier, it's like it's it's got to be easier for you because you're like, yeah, I know what the end result needs to be, yeah. so I have to put these things in place, in place, and I know what I want the product to look like mm -hmm. by the time it gets down the line to this, right? Where it is a packaged product that I can now promote. Yep, you know what I'm saying. I, I that's. Yeah. Beautiful, bro. Thank yeah, you. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and shout out to, again, we just had this conversation um, on our last episode with one of our guys, man. It's like, it's almost impossible in this. To it, I don't feel like there is a way, and I have not seen it yet. I don't feel like there is a way to be successful mm -hmm. in this entertainment industry as an independent without doing several jobs. 100%. You know what I'm saying? You got to do a lot of different jobs. Yeah. And some of them are specific, but it's but it it really just comes about from your needs. It's like, man, I need a I need a photographer. I don't. It doesn't make sense to pay a photographer man, every day. I, I'm so glad you you touching on that because as a as a as a as I would say a boss. A lot of people use that word or a CEO or somebody who's a leader. You got to be able to tap in in every avenue mm -hmm. as far as like what you want to do. So Period. like. With what you guys are doing, you got to be able to do the lighting. So when you, when it gets to the next level, somebody won't come and just half-ass the job because you know how lighting works. This guy, I like you know this what I'm guy, saying? So, <laughs> so like, he knows so, what the, yeah. So on, like, man. I'm Talk I'm I'm very like, I want to tap in. I want to learn as much as I can. So and that's what I did. You know, when I was managing my artists, it was more so like, man, I got to find a photographer. I got to find a videographer. I got to find this person, and then they giving me, oh, I I, I don't got the time this week. Let's do it next month. Right. And I'm like, I got to wait for you for yeah, a whole month. Yeah. Nah, I'm going to just learn this camera and then take pictures of my artists. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need we, we need videos? Ah, oh, I got it. Yeah. And then I'm a, so I just took time to learn it. And then I feel like that's what God was preparing me for. Just learn all this stuff. And then you eventually you're mm -hmm. going to use it for yourself. Absolutely. Too. You know, and that's what I and that's why I'm, 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 I'm here now doing. You know, logo. Every song come with a logo. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't pay attention, but like every um, every song that I put out has a logo. That's lit. Um, That's lit. Mm -hmm. Color wave. Um, as far as the clothes, I also design. So what I got on is like something I, I you? designed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard. Man, so, that's hard, bro. So I, I, yo, it's slick. I, when you came in <laughs> yeah. with it. Cause oh, you had went to the corner and I was like, okay. Yeah. And then when you came closer, I saw. I was like, nigga, is this yeah. velvet? Nigga? Yeah, so it's velvet, <laughs> it's velvet culture. Oh, nigga, it really you know. is velvet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, hey, oh, the material is crazy. It. But yeah, man. so yeah, no, um, that's hard. That's tough. So every with song, the shoes yeah, yeah, yeah. every man, song, killing. every song comes with like the the style, the, the you know, the dressing style Fresh. as well. So I put that together. Like Angelina was all suit. Yeah. Um, it's given was more so like casual look, the bad yeah. boy look, and then like the next song is gonna be like a biker's look. Mm -hmm. So I put all of that together, and so yeah, man, I'm smart just, man. Yeah, bro. Overall, smart man, in house, man. that's how we got to do it, especially where we it? at. You know, like with the age, like we saying, I feel like we were seasoned. 
yeah. we, we, we season to do all the things that yeah. we need to do, man. I don't think, like you said, man, it's, we at the right spot. And we know it ahead of time. Yes, sir. And when we when T pulled up on me, I was up there doing cover art. <laughs> <laughs> That's I was dope. up there doing cover art, like, hey, yeah. man, yeah, I, this foot, this is for a song that I'm Everything. dropping. Four months from now, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm trying to get on front. Yeah, ahead of time. I remember, I remember, when, front. He, I remember he, when he wanted to be an engineer. Oh wow. Oh man. That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? Man. And I and then days. I watched him go from trying to do it out here by himself at the crib to getting an internship at the studio to being one of the one of the best guys in the room. Bro. To now he's got people calling him to do that's sessions crazy. for himself. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, man. To, to what you said, you just got to take the time. You if you really want it that bad, you, you take gonna, the time to learn yeah, it so you, you don't have to depend it. on other people. Yeah. Most definitely. And, then, and, 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 and then most really like very much so like to what you said, that's a big reason why I, 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 there was a point in my career where I realized I was like, damn, I'm working with T I'm working with. And, and everybody's kind of looking at me like, nigga, you in front of the computer. Like, would you, Come on, bro. Make it make make it sound good. Like, yeah. And I'm like, shit. I don't really know how to make it sound good. <laughs> like, I gotta figure. I'm gonna try. You know, yeah. I'm trying to. And you know, he he we discovering stuff at the same time. I'm mm-hmm. like, T. I finally got the reverb to do what I thought it was gonna <laughs> look. It sounds that's good. The, <laughs> you know. What I'm that's saying? the next step for me. Just learn how to record myself. But um, and then you and then like it, it, it's it's now it's like I if I want to engineer, cool. I don't necessarily have to, but I know you can't come over here with that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because you, you know what's happening. Because I know exactly, what's, ha- I know exactly, exactly what's man, happening. That's the point. Yeah. So, I feel like that's what every successful man, that's what they do, man. Amen. Like you, you learn all the avenues so that you can either train somebody that you hire and then they take it from there. Right. Uh, you can't just be blindsided. Right. You right. Know, so right. I feel like you just have to know. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Um. So what is... What is next for you in your um, in your music career? Because I know you do uh, uh, you mainly focus on Afrobeat, mm-hmm. um, but do you are there other genres that you want to tap yeah, into? Right. Most definitely, yeah. Um, just um, I've um, you know trap obviously yeah, me yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, you cannot yeah. be in Atlanta right. and not do trap. Right, right. So like definitely rap, trap, R and B. Um, and then even mix it up like Afro and B, Afro blues. Like my next song that I'm dropping on Sunday um, is is Afro blues. So mm. I'm just I'm just experiencing everything as much as possible, and I'm not trying to limit myself. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, man, I'm I'm blues. open. I'm open to Afro blues. It's so weird to even say it, but it yeah. sounds so good. Like it was the first experiment that I did, and it's I was listening to a few uh, blue, uh, you know. Soul artist blues, yeah. and um, it was it was it was so dope. The whole week I was coming up with the song. I was, that's all I was tapped into, mm. and I was like, "How can I even mesh this together?" Like, you know what I'm saying? And it just happened. Wow, that's lit. Yeah. That's so, lit. Yeah, that's dope. Afro blues. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Ah, that's yeah. different. Afro blues. It's you different. Want, yeah. You want to hear? Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You want yeah. some 2055 yeah, stuff right the, now? But the thing is, the whole the idea came a long time ago. Yeah. I would say like 20. 16 2017 mm-hmm. afro edm afro country you know mm-hmm. like all that all like just meshing it up together a lot of people haven't thought about that yet but like afro country afro edm all of that so, so so with the afro avenues. i know you, you're talking about all these different ones but you're pointing out the one that you're working on which is mm-hmm. afro blues yeah. what are the elements that you're tying in on you know, from each one to get the sound that you is it mm. the music? Is it the is yeah. it the is it the progressive? Is it the progressive structure of of blues that you're right. tapping like in? Like what makes it so? Blues. So what makes it? Yeah, I, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, like, I'm thinking like so Afro is the, four bar. It's the strings. It's the it's the it's the uh, uh, drums. And my producer Banga is he's dope. Like he's he's listening to what I'm bringing to him and he's putting it together. And meanwhile, like we, when I go down nine o'clock PM, we don't leave till 4 AM. Right. So we make the beat and then I come up with the hook and then I'll take the, the record back home and oh, then I'll man. write. But Y'all like, building from scratch. No, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. Straight really from scratch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, we don't do no As sampling should, either. Yeah. So we just try and start from scratch, but like the drums, the percussions and just the instruments is what we're tapping into. We're listening to this and be like, yo, let's do this and see how it sound. Let's ma- let's add this. Let's add this from, the the, the Afro beat, the conca, all of that, all of that instrument. And that's what we use to like tap in and and mesh in like the the genres together. Mm-hmm. So we gonna see how that 
turn out and see how people like it. But yeah. it's going to sound very weird in people's ears when I drop it on Sunday. So mm. it's going to be, be different. Yeah. It's going to be different. Yeah, man. Make sure you tag me. In I got you. I want to hear that. <laughs> I want to hear that. For real. Um, yeah. Man, you were just talking about, uh, man, you said Afro Blues. That was a thought that I had in my head. Yeah. Oh, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave where it go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone already. Oh, no, it's gone. No. Oh, no. Oh, I got it. There I you found go. it. I found uh-huh. it. Every time What's you say it's gone, difference? that's when it's gone. No, wait, no, wait. Uh, What's, What's the, the difference? difference between Afro beat and, uh, what is it, I'm a piano? Oh, man. The I'm a piano genre started, is, uh, I would say, f- to my understanding, it starts from South Africa. Ah. Um, I think it's a drum. I'm a piano. I'm South a piano, Africa. South Africa. That's Got where it. it started from. Got you know it. what I'm saying? But I, Afro beat is is um, they're both up tempo, but it's just this. You can tell the difference. Like I would say, I'm a piano has a fast pace to it, mm. and it has like doom 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 doom, mm. doom. and then uh, you got the Afro beat where it has more of a a swag to right. it. Even though mm. I'm a piano has a swag to it as well, but on the two and three, the yeah. But that, 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 I'm, a, I'm a piano has like this. It has like a dramatic kind of vibe to mm. it too, uh-huh. and then it comes in. It's just it's 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 different. You can tell the difference. Does it have a piano in it? Um, ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> most definitely, man. Let me every song have pianos in it, but I'm a piano. Most, yeah, 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 man. That's it's, it's, it's that's another genre too that's doing very well, and a lot of like the Afrobeat artists are now meshing that together. That, yeah, because so that, like the the person that do a great job at that is Aseke. He's a Nigerian artist. Artist, he's pretty dope. And then the I believe some of the news track that um, Bonner Boy just put out also have I'm a piano mixed with Afrobeat. So yeah. it's kind of being all. Um, put together i have a song called champion champion mm-hmm, lover mm-hmm. it's also like it's more of like actually it's like dancehall mixed with afro beat and yeah i'm a piano it's like the that's three tough. genre mesh together so i can't wait to, to release most of my song i've been contemplating whether to drop an ep or just keep dropping singles yeah because like i've over the years i have i've been able to record almost 40 songs that's what you're telling me the other yeah day. yeah so i'm trying to see what what what's next like yeah mm-hmm. keep dropping singles or just drop a project so that's what i've been thinking yeah, about yeah, do yeah. you feel like the stuff that you have that you haven't released yet that's old do you feel like it when you get to it in terms of releasing it do you feel like it's um if it's old if it's old if it's outdated or do or is it new <clears> because Nobody's heard it. And, yeah. You know, to me, to me, to, to me, you. it's like, oh, man, over the years, I've grown, you know. Right. So, like, I should just throw these out and then see what I can come up with mm-hmm. next. And then right. every single time I go to the studio, I'm getting better. Yeah. You know, I was not, I, I, I'm still not comfortable on a mic yet. You know, I'm still, mm. you know, doing the artist development. My producer's very well, like, he's been in the industry for a minute, so he's right. teaching me keep pointing his hand there and then I'm quick to pick it up. Right. And then I'm going home just practicing. So I have like a pre-studio at my house where I do most of my practice in the evening Mm -hmm. and then I'll just go and then he'll just be like, even though I practice when I get in front of the mic, it's like this nervous thing that you, and so I'll, and then he'll be like, nah, do it like this, do this flow like this. And then that's why I love, I love him for man because he be teaching me things that I need to know. Mm -hmm. So how often do you perform? I haven't, I haven't, I perform once man. Like, that's another nervous. I was gonna say because uh, I, I was I could I know I know because man. you said that. Yeah. That's why I was like, so you gotta perform. Bro. I gotta start performing. Yeah, yeah. So that's the next thing we have to do. Like yeah. just putting my set together and just perform. But I, I I did it once at a wedding. They my friend's wedding. It was it was pretty big, and I was like I was shocked. They were playing my song, and then they told me, "Oh, you got to come up." I'm like, "What? I'm not prepared." Yeah, yeah. But I, I took it on, and I did. It. And that's why. <laughs> and that's why I was telling you, I, yeah. I I was doing an artist development thing where I took the performance art class where they teaching you how to perform. And then the next thing for me now is doing the vocal lessons and just taking it to the next level. I'm just trying to perfect the craft Facts. and just be better at what I at what yeah, I do. You know sure. what I'm saying? So, man, and and put yourself in those positions too, man. Yeah. I I, I one time I, I recorded a whole song in a room full of people I'd never met before. No booth. Man, I don't no know booth, how you did no that. No, no booth, no nothing. And they and I'm hitting wrong notes here and there too and I and I, I ain't even looking back. I was like, I, don't worry about it. I'm gonna hit it right in a second. Don't yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. Recorded the whole song and that bitch. Damn. No booth. Nigga snickering and shit. I'm like, 
Don't worry about it. And then at the end, they're like, damn, okay. That shit sound good. That shit sound good. Yeah. And he did that shit with us back here. Like, goddamn. So, yeah, man. It was I all love be, and respect. Bro, that is put yourself crazy. In, those, in those positions, and, man. And yeah. just get better from there. Just get better from there. Because yeah. really, be I don't think there really is. Like, he, and T was just telling me this earlier, because we were talking about keys. That's a whole other story. Mm -hmm. But long story short, he was like, you know, I'd be on stage with big artists taking risks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> uh, for real? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was so, so, yes. so what we were talking about, we were talking about like, you know, chord structure and me learning mm. as a musician, learning, understanding how to voice my chords, get certain emotions and all these types of things out of chords, out of chords and things. And um, I told him, I said, I, I spent two years studying chord structure. Mm. And in that two years, the only way for me to truly learn how to apply it was to apply it. Mm. Oh, so nice. I'm get I, once I felt comfortable enough to apply it, I put myself in the fire, you know, and I just yeah. put myself in a position to fix it the best way I could if I messed up. But mm. you're not gonna learn how to do something well if you don't. I mean, I, we, I mean, we know this application. Right. You gotta apply it. Yeah. Apply. If you don't apply it, and all you do is practice. You're only going to be as good as the practice. That, yeah, yeah. But you got to embarrass. It's almost like you have to put yourself in this place to embarrass yourself. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, it's like what they say, <laughs> like, be be OK with failing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to mess up. Yeah, when you man, fall that's the in problem, front of that, man. I think people. I think that's what I want. I need I need to work on, man. Yeah. I'll be trying to make sure everything is perfected before, I, you know, before I put it out, especially like performing, man. I got to make sure like. But you're going to perfect it and still I'm get yeah, out yeah, there yeah. and still mess you, up. Yeah. It's one of those yeah. things. You know how they say comedians, comedians, every comedian got to get a boo. Yeah. It, every artist got to flop on stage, bro. Yeah. You got to feel it. <laughs> you got to feel it. And you go back and you everywhere. Everywhere. gotta feel it. You got to feel it. <laughs> so that you never go back. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to feel it. Like, yeah, yeah. You got to feel Dude, it. From, yeah, where I, I, from where I started with church, yeah. playing organ at church. And wasn't playing the right stuff, and so the dude that plays better than me, that was sitting in the in the audience, realized I didn't know what I was doing. Come scoop me off the organ. Damn. Oh damn! In Shit. front of everybody. And I had a past, I had a preacher one time. I was at a, <laughs> I was at a convention, a major convention. That major sounds so wild to me. I can and never I imagine playing. anybody doing that. And to I'm him. playing, and, and, <laughs> and you and, get that and tap. The pastor on the mic says, uh, "Yes, son, he's, he's gonna come back and." <laughs> And play because he knows because he knows what I need. No, he knows what I need and scooted me off the organ. Man. It's real out here, boy. Man. <laughs> how you feel after that? I mean, it's part of the game, it's man. Part, that's it's what I'm saying. You, I've had you, to do with the people. You gotta feel it. Oh, okay, okay. I've had to scoot people off the organ. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. It. Makes sense. I've yeah. had I've had friends that I know on gigs, and I get a phone call. Hey, can you do this gig? And I get there, and my friend is there, and they letting him go because he couldn't do the job right. And they Ooh. called me instead. Yeah. Man. They were, they, man, let me tell you, I'll be trying to tell people out here, man. This music game yeah, it's, it's ruthless. Nah, it's ruthless. You can't take it personal it's either. And you can't take it because it really ain't personal. It's, it's like, not, yo, it's business, we man. spent money on this little situation or we had people coming for this and you fucking up. You got to get get off. You, gotta be <laughs> <laughs> you are fucking up. <laughs> get off. Yeah, if you're not ready, if you're not, if you're not ready, you got to go. You got to go. Damn. Oh, but, yeah, but that's man. what I'm saying. Everybody, you got to feel it. Just like I said, the comedians, every comedian that took a boo before, yeah. every artist, every musician, you got to take an L on that stage. You got to. Yeah. I, I done been on stage, had boogers fly out my nose, <laughs> pants split. <laughs> nah. Like, oh, man. Look, he, 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 he was there for a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was just saying. You got to, man. Yeah. You got to I'm ready. It. I'm ready for it, man. Yeah, man. Put yourself out there, bro. Yeah, most yeah, definitely. Man. Yeah, you got the yeah, good. You got the goods, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and you yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You sound good, bro. Yeah, like, yeah you got you it. got the figure for it. Like they they and and one thing I I, I always tell people is like, man, nobody wants you to do bad. Like, yeah. Yeah, but niggas will talk about you if you do bad. If you do bad. If you do bad, they're going to talk about you, but they really want you to do good. They're really there to be like, oh, no, shit. I like this audience. Yeah, like, yeah. I want to like this person. Mm -hmm. But if you fuck up, then they like, all right, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you going to be on the shave room. <laughs> Hit you with the sandman. <laughs> yes, sir, you got to go. <laughs> right. 
Yeah, oh, um, that's crazy. <laughs> man, yeah, for sure, for sure. But man, that's lit, man. And then, and then, but but you consistent with it, and you yeah. know, you know how you want it, and it's coming mm-hmm. across well. Like like I said, I I done peeped the page, man, and everything is looking like it's lining up. Mm-hmm. The music is coming around, bro. You got the, you know, what I'm saying like you said, you got the physique. You working on your physique yeah. and all that stuff. Staying working on your physique. Yeah. Man, it's all good stuff, bro. Yeah. Appreciate you. And then Appreciate you still you. also you also managing people in the in in, in between time because you said yeah. you managing managing yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my cousin Joe and then uh, yeah, um, yeah. Bianca as well. Yeah, Bian- Bianca. Bianca. Yeah. Bianca. She's German and um, Ghanaian as well. Too. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. And what does she do? She's fitness. She's too? like um, an influencer of fitness and then also like a model. Okay. As well. Okay. Yeah. So I do that and uh, other people, but yeah, I do a yeah, lot, man. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. Yeah. You're overwhelming at times. Yeah, That's yeah. why I be in the gym, man. Like, I got to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You said, yeah. you said, what's his name, George? George Benfo, yeah. I thought so. Yeah, Because I was like, I seen him at the gym, and you was at the man, gym. Yeah, the crazy guy that be running I'll be like, yo, he, that's, he nuts, this dude bro. be running yeah. on the treadmill with the, the with, a, with, a, with another guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shooting up the sky. Right. They he crazy, had a whole bro. weight bench on his back while they oh, running on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You managed it? Yeah, that's my guy. I follow Benfo, man. Shout out to Benfo, bro. Yeah, small world. That's crazy. I saw him at the gym the other day, too, and was like, what the fuck is he doing here? He's at, he trains at my he house. He trains at my house. Yeah, he be there at 5 a.m. training with oh, PJ, and then he trains early. with Will as well. But then he be he be in and out. Crazy. Shout out to yeah, Will. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, Will, man. Will the, Will the guy. I started yeah. chopping up yeah. with Will lately, man. This is, I know none of y'all know. These are all. If, the, that's if you, the OG. Yeah, these yeah. are OG lifters. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, all like, yeah. I'm trying to get on their level. These niggas yep. making me look bad out here. <laughs> nah. but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm coming around, man. I'm, yes, I'm in that. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's who y'all got to get going. next on the podcast, so too. Y'all got to get George. I can talk to him. George. Man. Yeah, 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 man. We'd love to have happen. him on here, yeah, bro. Absolutely. That'll be lit, actually, bro. Absolutely. Man. Have him pull up. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's, the, that's the vibe, yeah, man. Let's, yeah, let's set that up. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah for sure. We'll, when we get done with this, we're going to for yeah. damn sure set it yeah. up. Yeah. Um, we got a couple minutes left, man. What else we want to touch on, man? I feel like we touched on a lot of things, man. Did we lose nah, yeah, anything? Good, it's been a good one. This is yeah, a good one, man. Like yeah. I said, like, like we we genuinely, like yeah. I genuinely feel like, okay, I learned a lot about yeah, this yeah, man. Yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah That's yeah. love. That's love. Man, tell us, uh, tell everybody out there in TV land, mm-hmm. tell us where we can find you. Tell them where they can connect with you. <laughs> man, Um, you guys can find me on um, www. Lucid.com, one U C I D dot com. You can find all my music on my website and then of course Instagram and TikTok. You'll find me as I am Lucid. I am one U C I D. That's how you can find me. And then um I got a few songs coming up. A lot of songs coming up and a lot of other projects. So check me out. I'll be here. Facts. Yes. Ladies, sir. and he also has OnlyFans apparently. I don't nah. know. <laughs> I don't want you to shout that out. No, hey, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm shout kidding. out to my only fans too. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> shout out to the only fans. Uh, the ladies was like, "That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You mentioned that because Why? like." Like I have a, I don't have an OnlyFans. Nah, I'm nah. thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. She, they making money. So, right, they making nah. money. I'm but putting nah, my feet they, out there. It's crazy you mention that because in, in one of my songs, I mentioned like there's a there's a bar there. It's crazy. So I turn it into a shirt. So it has like the OnlyFans type of vibes on it. And I'm gonna drop that shit. That shit is gonna be crazy. I don't want to put it out because somebody might take that shit. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. You know, I don't but want. You, my... I'm sure they can get the. I'm sure that they can get the shirt on the site. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. not it's or, gonna drop. It's, oh, gonna, it's drop. gonna drop okay, next okay. year. I'm gonna drop it all next yeah. year. I'm gonna bring y'all one. So then y'all can rewind this. Let's do and it. Let them see the Absolutely. shit. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? When you so, re- and then when you dropping that, when you dropping that, come on right back, bro. 100. We'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll help you with the promo, man. Let's do it. Shout out to my guy, man, yes, sir. Lucid in the building, yes, sir. It's been fun, man. man yeah, it's, it's been, been a good pleasure, man. Yes, sir. Yes, Thank sir. you so much for coming through, my G. Yes, sir. You yes, sir. The man That's came loud. with his own clothes on. Man. <laughs> I had to. I can't stop him. I had to. I'm He's trying to get him to make me one of them. Right. I got you. Like, like, real yeah. time, let me know. Next man. time That's you see us, we're going to all be in I different sit in colors. I've been in the house all day designing and writing music and just coming up with strategic plans. So it's oh, kind of fun to me. I do this. Yeah, yeah. So whatever I can do to help, man, y'all let me know. For sure. Yes, sir. Seriously. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, Get him with it. hey, it's your boy Chill. And it's your boy Will. And this is the Pull Up Podcast. With Chill Will. Yes, sir. Thank y'all so much for being here hey. at another episode. <laughs> hey, y'all gotta do that sound again, man. Like what the, the what's that? The intro. Like y'all made we, it. Oh, the very we got it. Very, 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 very,
with a very, very, very special guest. Hey, I pulled up. <laughs> yeah, we pulled up in this mug. You did. It's the first time for everything. We never Whoa. done that at the top and the bottom. And the bottom. But you know what time it is. Oh, shit, it's time to go.